right, folks, what is good? What is good? Georgia Southern comes in to Reno, Nevada, and put the smackdown. Well, not necessarily the smackdown, but we did walk away with a victory against the Nevada Wolfpack. This is a big win that was sorely needed. You guys got to understand, this is our first win since, what, beating Georgia State last year, and we needed this badly. And this was a really good win. A lot of things were improved in this game especially the defense. Last game, we saw uh, Genty from um, Boise State run all over this defense. Now, don't get me wrong. The numbers look good for Nevada as far as the running game. They look good. But I will say, we stopped them when it was needed. We stopped them in every situation that was crucial. And that's the reason why we won this game. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when you look at the running game from Nevada, you got three guys that was running the ball fairly well, but the, the, the quarterback had the most yards rushing, and we let, held Savion Red. Even though he had 8.1 yards per carry, we held him to 89 yards on 11 carries. Now, what I will say, last game he had 11 carries and ran for almost 130. So you see the difference. On top of that, Marquise Watson Trent gets a fumble he, he forced the fumble when Red was almost into the end zone. And uh, Chance, I can't remember his uh, first name, but Chance, number 31, you see him on the screen right here. He picked up the fumble and stopped them from taking the lead. Big, big time play. And on top of that, we stopped him on a fourth down when we didn't need it. Kind of stopped him twice on fourth down, but they gave him the first one, but that's another story. Nevertheless, we were able to stop them and get the ball and hold it long enough. We held it long enough for them not to score. And that's basically what was the difference in the game. The defense was definitely, absolutely bend but don't break. Brendan Lewis for Nevada did fairly well, threw for 270 and ran for 97 yards. Still was not enough. Georgia Southern defense held the Wolfpack to three points after the second quarter. I mean, after the first quarter. They were up 14-7, to seven, and after that, the defense did not give up another touchdown, gave up a field goal. You cannot ask for more than that. Now, when you talk about Georgia Southern, their offense, it's, it's kind of more left. It's, it's a lot left to be desired on the offense of Georgia Southern. We did not do bad. We didn't turn the ball over for the most part. We did pretty good as far as passing the ball. The run game is non-existent. I mean, our leading rusher was O.J. Arnold with 23 yards. But even with that, Dalen Cobb showed up. Josh Thompson had a touchdown, beautiful touchdown in the first in the beginning of the game. And Dalen Cobb had uh, 81 yards. Durham Burgess had 52 yards. Josh Dallas had 23. Even though O.J. Arnold ran for 23, he also had four catches for 33. So the offense did okay. I thought they could be a little bit better. Some of the play calling wasn't the best. Uh, I, I was kind of questionable at best. But... This game was all about defense. We were, we were questioning the defense after the last game. We've been questioning the defense all year last year. This is probably the best defensive uh, uh, performance from Georgia Southern in a long time. I'm not going to say it's the best since Coach Clay Helton because you can go back and look at the Ball State game, which, you know, we blew them out that time in, in, in Indiana when we went up to Ball State. But this is probably the best defensive performance by this defense I, I loved every bit of it I wish the offense was a little bit better but I kind of lean that a little bit more towards play calling but okay come on now. but I will say you know my son here so please that's just him making a noise but nevertheless I think that the defense did the best job that they've done in a long time Georgia Southern even though the numbers don't show it all the way I mean they gave up 493 yards 266 yards passing, 227 rushing, only six yards per play. But, you know, they stopped them when they need to, they needed to. They, and that, that's really the, the big thing. They stopped them when they was about to score, got the fumble, and they stopped them on fourth down. And even though Georgia Southern could have put some more points on the board if the play calling was a little bit better, overall, they got the W. That's all that matters. We're going to the next game. The next game, we're going to be playing South Carolina State. We'll definitely be talking about that. I will be here once again. If you missed the live stream, the live stream was pretty dope. It was, it was kind of lit. 
it was kind of nice and people were responding it was pretty nice to have that you know camaraderie and feedback throughout the game i'll be back for the sc state game um definitely will be on that one so we'll be talking about that as well hopefully you guys enjoyed this victory everything is awesome tonight i i cannot i'm kind of elated at the same time i'm a, a little bit relieved because this game almost gave me a heart attack but nevertheless georgia southern wins 20 to 17 going to play on uh, south carolina state and we'll see how it goes thank you guys for watching i am on spotify apple google podcast well not pop go google podcast no more we got youtube podcast also on rumble check me out over there where i do videos throughout the week and the podcast episode every monday morning all right y'all see you on the next one i'm gonna hang out with my son and i'll see you on the next one all right y'all i'm out peace